A hero is a tank engine. He used to work on what is known as J.R. West. Despite doing rural branch line work, he doesn't have any side plates or cow catchers, but him and his crew have their special ways even if animals or yokai stray onto the line. But Chrysanthemum thought his techniques were silly. She said that a hero was afraid of getting hurt himself. Well, I am not, said a hero indignantly. You are. I don't have anything special and I'm not afraid. All I have to do is toot and they all get out of the way. But they don't, said a hero simply. They would with me. Yokai always run if you toot and look them in the eye. Even Oni? Even Oni, said Chrysanthemum confidently. Chrysanthemum never met an Oni, but she hurried away quite unconcerned. There was a level crossing. Humans waited behind gate to let her pass. She tooted at the said level crossing and a Tengu halted while she went by. Phew, she said. It's easy. I just toot and they all stand aside. Alas, poor I hear. I'm sorry he's frightened. At the next station, Ekishiki was waiting. There's degenerate Oni on the line, she warned them crossly. Just go along towards the bamboo forest. Chrysanthemum was excited. She thought, I'll show the hero how to manage Oni. Soika Ibuki wasn't really a fierce Oni, but this morning she was inebriated. Fujiwara no Moku had driven her away before she finished her sake and tried to get away from her booze. Soika escaped and wandered down the road, stumbled over a fence and rolled down a slope and passed out. When she woke up, she was surprised. Her vision was blurred. This is a new kind of road. It has wood and two long steel things. She found her gourd and she was still thirsty and she began to drink. Ooh, ooh, ooh tooted Chrysanthemum. Go on. Soika had her back to her. She was too busy to pay attention. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 tooted Chrysanthemum again. Soika went on drinking. This is wrong, thought Chrysanthemum. How can I look her in the eye if she won't turn around? Chrysanthemum continued to toot until at last Soika turned around and noticed the diesel rail car. Ah, uh, she said, and came towards her, still gulping, and wondered what she was. Mm-hmm, said Chrysanthemum feebly. Why doesn't she run away? The guard in the Yama tried to shoo her away, she wouldn't stay shooed. As soon as they turned away, she came back. Soika was a most inquisitive yokai. Go on, said her driver. She's harmless. Yes, said Chrysanthemum unhappily. You know she's harmless, and I know she's harmless. But does she know? Besides, look at her horns. If I bumped into her, she might hurt them. And others wouldn't like that. Soika came close and sniffed at Chrysanthemum. Ooh, she said, backing hastily. A hero was surprised to find Chrysanthemum back once more at the big station. The passengers told him about the Oni. He chuckled, Onis always run away if you toot and look them in the eye, eh, Chrysanthemum? Chrysanthemum said nothing. Oh well, said a hero, we live and learn. I better chase her for you, I suppose. He clanked away. But Soika took no notice of Ahira's whistle when he got there. She didn't move until Ahira whooshed her with steam. Then Ahira shooed her along the track to where Eki and Yugi were waiting. Chrysanthemum had an exhausting day. A hero and Kiyoshi met her on her, their journeys, and though they never mentioned Oni, they gave her pitying looks. It made her so cross. 
Her last journey ended at the top station on Hichihiro's branch line. Raisin and Tui were on the platform. Suddenly, one of them came running with a glass stein. Look, said Tui. I've got a pint of beer from where the Onis live. I think it tastes super. Don't you? The two moon rabbits shared and drank happily. Ah! said Chrysanthemum. Keep your old Oni alcohol. And she scuttled away to find a shed.